In the last video, I've shown you how to calculate the profit of your GPU mining venture. But how do we get from zero to hero with GPU mining? In this video, we will explain all the parts needed to start your own adventure. So guys, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching GentleCoin. And as always, we are talking crypto with manners. So no far, no FOMO allowed in here. Just straight up to the point, we are talking cryptocurrency mining with your GPU. And to accomplish that, we need three main pillars. There will be the crypto mining software, there will be your mining pool, and that will be your cryptocurrency wallet. So these three things will be very important in this video. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the mining software. And for this video, we will assume that you will be mining Ethereum because Ethereum is the most GPU mined coin in the world currently. So let's assume you're going to actually mine Ethereum and you want something like this. This is the T-Rex miner software. But for this video, we're not going to use T-Rex, we're going to use Claymore. And again, there are so many different kinds of mining softwares with all their own advantages and disadvantages. I will be showing you how to set up an actual software miner. But before we can start doing that, I will need to choose a pool, a mining pool, because you can't just start mining on yourself. Ethereum mining has become harder and harder and harder. And to actually earn a bit of coin, you need to work together with other GPU miners. And that will be done in a pool. And the pool we're going to use in this video will be the Binance pool. So why Binance? So Binance, if you don't know, is the biggest exchange for cryptocurrency in the world currently. So that might already be somewhat familiar to you. Anyway, they just launched their own Ethereum mining pool. And because it's so new, they start out right now with a 0% mining fee. So that makes it already really profitable for you. Furthermore, what's also pretty nice, if you're just starting out with cryptocurrency, they already also offer you your own cryptocurrency wallet. So you will be mining directly to your Binance mining pool wallet. And from there, you can start trading that mined profit, that mined Ethereum to actual US dollar or maybe even euros or whatever currency you'll be using. So from mining to euro, dollar, whatever, I think currently it is the easiest and fastest way to do that on the Binance site. And also, if you want to get more information about Binance, do not forget to check out the description down below. Also there, you'll find my referral link if you still want to do anything with this website. So if you create an account, and that's quite straightforward, so just go ahead by yourself. If you create an account, then I'll log in to the website. Once you're logged in, you will be directed to the Binance homepage. But we want to go to the Binance pool. To go there, what we do, we find the finance button up top, hover over there, and we see Binance pool. We click, and in a few seconds, you see two main parts over here. We see SHA-256, that's the Bitcoin algorithm, and we see ETH over here. So ETH is, of course, as you might still remember, the Ethereum algorithm. And we'll be mining Ethereum today, so that is the most important one. Over here, you see, you see the algorithm, you see the active workers, so the amount of miners online, you see the hash rate of the Binance pool, and you see total network hash rate of actual everything in the Ethereum network. But the most important part here will be the tutorial. So the tutorial is basically everything you need to know to start mining. The first part is pretty straightforward. You need a PC with a GPU. Basically, that's a must. Okay, you understand that one. You also need to have a Binance account. So the account, you created one already, you're logged in, if I'm okay, if I'm correct. But what you still don't have is the mining account. So you're gonna start up, you gotta set up your own mining account and your own mining worker. So I will quickly show you how to actually get there. So we just shown you the mining pool homepage. Over here, you still do have something called the mining account. So you click up top, right upper corner, you see the account you got. Then you go to mining account, click there, and you gotta make sure you create a mining account. I got one already set up, but okay, for your ID. So you make your own name, your own nickname, your mining account nickname, and well, that's it. You don't need any remarks. So you create it and your miner is set up. Easy. 
So once you have set up your actual miner, your worker, it's time to start with our miner software. So if you go down to the third section in the guide, it does already say mining software. Click to download and configure the Claymore miner. That's the main one we're gonna use right now. So it does direct you already to the Claymore website and make sure this is the third party software. So we'll click on download now and the download will start. Make sure you extract these files. After extracting the Claymore folder, you should see something like this appear. So this is all the things you need for the Claymore miner. However, we do need to set it up correctly for your worker. To do that, we gotta go back to all tutorials. So let's go back to Binance and we're gonna go to the fourth section, configure the mining software. Easy, right? So if you might still remember, we were using the Claymore miner. And well, all we gotta do right now is copy this message over here. Copy this message. Okay, so right now, let's go back to the mining folder. And over there, there should be a file named something like start mining because, well, that will start the mining. We've got, we've got to go right click on this file right now. So right click, start mining, and let's press edit. Edit will open your notepad. And over there, you will see a message, which is pretty much familiar to the one you just saw earlier on the Binance tutorial. So over here, what we've got to do, press Ctrl A, delete, Ctrl V. And there we go. We just pasted the message from the Binance pool over there. Right now, there are a few parts in this whole thing that I'm going to explain to you. And a few you might have to edit for yourself. So right now, let's go to the minor software. So this is all the executable file that will need to be in there. Then we got the pool address. So this will be the pool address you will be mining to. It will be the pool Binance with server port 8888. And this will be something that we're going to explain a bit more later on in the video. Anyway, the next thing will be your e-wallet. And the e-wallet will be the worker that you just made. So my worker is called Faber1. Go check out my game and content as well. <laughs> Different channel. Anyway. That will be my e-wallet. My worker is having a wallet on the Binance pool. Easy, right? Okay, something else. So what I do have is my own worker. This worker is basically only for you an extra way to identify what kind of system you're running on. Well, I've got my own PC with a 1080 Ti. That's my worker name. Your password will always be by default an X. And while well, the other things are basically to optimize your mining software. But this is everything. So this message right now is completed. All we gotta do is make sure you're gonna save this as something. And if you're gonna save it as, make sure you're gonna save it as all different kind of files. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it sure you call it start mining dot B A T. Stop mining. B A T. This best file then will be the one thing you're gonna use later on to start your miner. So actually, let's let's call it something else. Let's call it 1080 T I because that's my working name. Dot B A T. 1080 dot bat. Let's save it as. And there we go. Right now in your folder, there should be something called 1080 Ti or whatever name you are gonna give it. Double press it and it will start a command center. And there we go. We are mining right now, isn't that great? So really easy. One more time, start mining, press edit, go to your notepad, make sure you copy all the things from over here Make sure you change your miner name, your worker name at eWallet. Then you got to make sure you save the new file, save this notepad file as something.bat as all files. And just press the button. Right now, guys, we are mining to our Binance freaking pool. Once you completed the whole setup with Claymore Miner, you also want to make sure that it is registering everything correctly. To do that, you want to go back to the Binance homepage for the mining pool. 
And over there, you want to click on statistics up over here. If everything is working fine, then you should see an active worker over here. And there might be something like this, like this graph appearing on the screen. You also directly see the average in the last 24 hours. But if you just started out, this average will be really low. Having said that though, you also can see directly the estimated income and the income of the previous day. So if you go then on to the worker page, you see directly some more things. So if you still remember, I set up my worker as 1080 Ti. Then again, you see all different kind of real hash rate numbers, 24 hour numbers, rejection rate, and the last share. So this real hash rate is something that should fit with your deep GPU. So if you still remember what's a mine.com, it should give you some kind of ID, what kind of hash rate you can expect over there. But okay, what do we earn? Really important, right? So we're gonna click on earnings and then we see one day of mining, what it actually made us. So you do see also the extra bonus over here, but nah, I'm not getting any extra bonuses right now. We do get some mining earnings and this has been a while ago, but I want to make sure that Binance actually works fine for you guys. So I did some experimenting and for me personally, it does work fine. So I do trust for you guys, for you beginners, that it is fine to use as well. And it gave me, I think a bit more than this actually. So right now I made like two euros worth of Ethereum on the Binance website. So that's pretty nice already. And it's also pretty easy for you to get some nice earnings. Anyway, guys, I want to show one more thing and it's everything to do with the server I have just shown to you. If you go back to the .bat file, you might see that we are using this port number over here. So we got the pool address as the URL and we got in the end, we got the pool number that is 8888. So you need to understand that the blockchain is worldwide, but unfortunately due to the speed of light, not all the internet is as fast as you might like it to be, especially on the blockchain while mining, it is important to have really fast mining speeds or internet speeds. And luckily for us, there are multiple ports supported by Binance. So we got 1800, 25, 443, 3333, 8888. And by default, I think it does show in the guide, it does show 8888. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, I will show it right now. That does not give you the best times. So what you got to watch out for, and I think this server, this port 8888 is placed somewhere in China or maybe somewhere else in Asia, but I'm living myself in the Netherlands. So if you're living in Asia, 8888 is probably fine. But if you do live somewhere like in the United States, in Europe somewhere, you might want to check the times that it takes to actually find shares. So. Again, this is the mining software. This is the mining software you see over here. And as you see, we are hashing away currently. We're hashing away 43 hashes. And right now I'm waiting to find a share. A share guys is your part of work that you've completed for the mining pool. And when you find shares, it does also tell you what kind of speeds you're getting internet wise. So I want to be below 100 basically if you get a, a ping of below 100 that's okay to start mining even maybe below 200 is fine but i have seen in the past that especially with this binance pool the standard 8888 port you're not getting the best results also if you do have those high high very high ping rates you're gonna see a lot of rejected shares and if you're not getting shares, you're not getting money. It's that easy. But I see my share is found right now and my shares got accepted as well. But as you might see, if you might see, it says more than 10,000 milliseconds. So it does take 10 seconds for you to find your share and then be accepted. So there's a big chance these shares actually got rejected in the pool. So to solve that, you want to make sure you check out some multiple pools so what we will be doing if this is closing thank you there we go what we'll be using is we're going to try a different pool this might be pool 25 25 is our other pool i'm going to click it and this one is already pre-set up 
And this one will have way better yields right now. So make sure when you start, when you start mining, check out the multiple supported ports. Okay, so right now, again, we are trying to find some shares. And guys, finding shares is like finding gold. We're mining away, right? So that's good. Anyway, this, this might take some time. There we go, guys. We found a share. And as you see right now, this gets 500 milliseconds. That is still not really, really good. But then again, we found the next share, which is only 31 milliseconds. So there we go. 31 milliseconds. The next one also only 31 milliseconds. So it can take some time to cool down. But right now, I think we can safely say 60 milliseconds that we got some quite nice results coming in. There we go, guys. Make sure you start to find your good, your own good port. So check out where you live, try some ports and make sure this millisecond count is low. The final part will be finding your wallet. Okay, so if you've been mining away for a while right now on Binance and I want to check our wallet. So what we do, we go to the up top mining wallet over here, wallet, mining wallet, and we click then we go to our pool or pool earnings. So you see multiple coins right now, but I want to show you my Ethereum results. So it's hidden by default. I don't know why, but right now you can see I made 0.02 Ethereum, which is like I mentioned around two euros, one euro, 1.5 euro, whatever. It does make you a profit and it shows you over here. From there on, you can go trading, you can do whatever, you might have to transfer though to your other wallet, but from here on, it is pretty easy. From here on, we can actually get your, your money, get your US dollar, get your euro, which are mining profit, guys. So all being done on one website. So I hope it makes it a bit easier for you. Anyway, in a future video, I want to talk about some tips and tricks and maybe some other miners, some other software you can use. And also maybe some other wallets because there are more options over here. For example, this is my other Ethereum wallet. Looks cool, right? This is the Exodus one. More info will be coming soon in another video. Anyways, guys, this is so far your knowledge for crypto mining, starting with crypto mining with your GPU. If you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And like always, press the like button and the subscribe button down there. Then again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay gentle.